Hi, this is one example of how we might use linear systems of equations. So um, let's determine a polynomial function um, whose graph passes through the points 2, 4, 3, 6, and 5, 10. So um, first of all, let's notice that we have three points. And since we have three points, we are going to choose a second degree polynomial. So um, let's go ahead and write out what a second degree polynomial looks like. It is f of x equals a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared. You might use different variables. You might put them in a different order. Some of you might choose ax squared plus bx plus c. Um, the only reason I choose to do it this way is so that it extends easily if we want to do a cubic polynomial or a quartic polynomial or something of that sort. This um, way of um, numbering can uh, easily be extended. So here's what a second degree polynomial looks like. And we also want to guarantee that the graph of this polynomial goes through these three points. So for our purposes, algebraically, that means that f of 2 equals 4, f of 3 equals 6, and f of 5 equals 10. So what we're going to do to help us get a linear system of equations is we're actually going to take this value 2 and input it. Excuse me. Sorry about that. So um, I, what I was saying was that I want to um, evaluate f of x when x is 2. So I'm going to input 2 into both of those x um, variables. And then what I need to get out is 4. So writing that out gives me that a0 plus 2a1 plus 4a2 equals 4. Likewise, we're going to do the same when x equals 3. We get a0 plus 3a1 plus 9a2 equals 6. That's because this polynomial needs to go through the point 3, 6. And lastly, we need the polynomial to go through the point um, 5, 10. And so we get this linear equation. So now I have a system of three equations and three unknowns. So I make its associated augmentic matrix. And... Now what I can do is I can use a computer algebra system and by using a computer algebra system like Maple or some graphing calculators have it, you can also use um, a free online open source um, mathematics software called Sage. And we get um, a reduced row echelon row equivalent matrix that is the following. So. Now our job is to interpret what this means. So remembering that um, the first column represented the coefficient of a0, the second column represented the coefficients of a1, and the third column represented the coefficients of a2, this tells us that a0 equals 0, a1 equals 2, and a2 equals 0. So remembering what we're supposed to be doing We want to find a polynomial that fits the points 2, 4, 3, 6, and 5, 10. We had represented it as a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared. And we decided that a0 is a1 is 2 and a2 is 0. And so we get that our polynomial is f of x equals 2x. So it is actually a line, that's the polynomial that best fits those three points. And we can check this. For f of x equals 2x, we can go back and say, well, f of 2 is 2 times 2, which is 4. f of 3 is 2 times 3, which is 6. And f of 5 is 2 times 5, which is 10. So the polynomial we found actually does go through the three points that were given. Okay, and that's our final answer.